first thing we're going to do is take this module off. That comes off pretty easy. Get it out of the way. And we're going to take these two out. We're getting into the battery. That's what we're doing. If you've ever invested in these, but a uh, little magnet uh, bucket, they work real nice. Got several of them. slide this get that plate and slide it forward slide it forward huh he's on it yeah that is a snug fit ain't it There it is. There it is, people. Little strap. Yep. Pull your battery out. Now we're into the battery. That's where your batteries be, people. So this could serve as a changing the battery out too. <laughs> or as a warning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so get on the next step. Alright, we got this eight pin connector here. Six, hang it. Six? Yeah. Six, sorry. But that's it right there. And uh, this other end here, we're going to run it from the bottom through up under the fender. Just kind of kind of find our way up. And we're going to try to come out this hole, I think, right here. Maybe. We're going to try. So uh, we'll get back with you on that. Okay, so what we've decided to do is run the wire under this, bring it up right along through here. Got these nice little tabs here that we zip tie to. Took this off and run this right through here, and then it's out right here. So we felt like it'd check. be safer to do that than it would be to try to. Bring it through this hole here yeah, and close. have it next to your tire. So. Yeah, it's real close to the tire there. So here, it's not near anything. It's all secure and be real good. And that brings us out to right here. So we have plenty of room. So we'll get on to the next step. All right, after reading the instructions, rereading them, Throwing them away, getting them out and reading them again. Uh, we finally got this wired up. And what we've got here, this is the sub harness. Originally, this end and this end went together, so we took it apart, but this between it. This runs up to your uh, CAN, bus. CAN bus, which is going to tell it to take electricity from the battery and not the charging system. And... To wire them up, they're numbered, and the papers that come with it tells you what color goes with which number. So that that was actually the simplest part. This is the ground wire. I mean, there's only one way this can go, which is coming off of the isolator. The isolator, I've got this grounded here for now. I'm going to be moving it when we button everything back up. Just, just check it out isolator you've got your white wire is going to your negative side of the battery then you put this fuse in and the, the red wire goes to the hot side of your battery and then like i say the ground wire here for the cam bus and then the other part of our isolator 
this is actually going from down to the the pigtail where the trailer is going to plug in. It looks pretty simple. Yeah. But after after a few minutes, we we got it figured out. We got, uh, like I said, well, we we got it. and and it's yeah. not it's not bad. Just take your time. You'll get it. Like I said, we just got to finish buttoning it up now, uh, which is in reverse order, how we took it apart. Uh, we're going to find somewhere to tuck these wires, and and uh, it'll be good. And what we did, too, is, uh, and be sure to do this. We didn't say this at the beginning. Unplug your 50-amp fuse. Yeah. Turn, if you have the, like I've got the siren too. Turn your ignition on. Don't start it. And you can unplug your fuse because anything else you do, it's going to make the alarm scream. Right. So you know, what we done, we got everything wired up and ready. Uh, we turned every, put our fuses in, turned it on, and went to the back, took a, a meter, and checked out everything, make sure everything's working. Everything's working absolutely fine. So, uh, yep. Uh, so not, not too bad. That's basically what you got. Put her together. Very, very neat. It's yeah. it's mostly plug and play. The only thing that's not plug and play is uh, a couple yeah. wires to the ground and to that. And I mean, uh, otherwise everything just plug, plug, plug. You just figure out where it goes. And uh, pretty simple. All right. Now we've got everything buttoned back up. All fenders laid back in there. Looks decent, I suppose. What do you yep. think? I think it looks good. Yep. Uh, I would say, with uh, if you saw a previous video of putting the the trailer hitch on and all that, we had maybe a couple hours in that, maybe a little less. Yep. And then the time we've probably had a good three hours invested in doing the wiring. That was because we'd never done it before, and it's looking at the instructions and trying to match stuff up. And oh, three hours total, hitch and probably and wiring, maybe four total. Yeah, if you yep. count count everything we've yeah, done. The, yeah, the 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 hitch was the physical part, and then the wiring is the more the metal, metal part. So, yeah. but as you can see. Uh, it didn't turn out like I said I, I think it turned out great and uh, if you're good with doing wiring on these bikes you could probably fly through this in a matter of minutes yep and now that we've actually done this yep. I don't think doing the second one would take nearly as long nope the first one's always the hardest yep so uh, we appreciate y'all watching hope it helped you out some way uh Two things you need to do. Of course, as always, be good to one another and be sure to keep it. Torque to spec.